Chris Brown may have lived in the same home since 2015, but it's no doubt one of his prized possessions. And he's created quite the private sanctuary here. Aside from the more obvious features like the 8,300 square feet of space and glass walls for both style and views, Chris also won't be having a problem with security. The star had a state-of-the-art alarm system and 16 security cameras installed throughout his property for the utmost protection, among other smart features. Chris purchased his home in Target Zana, California for over $4 million and over the years he's really settled in and made this contemporary mansion his true home. In 2015, Chris Brown purchased his current smart home abode for $4.3 million, and it's located at the top of a hill in Tarzana, California. Tarzana is located in the San Fernando Valley near Encino, and it's actually named after the jungle character Tarzan, which might be fitting for Chris since he can be a wild boy himself at times. Anyways, Chris's contemporary and gated estate offers top of the line privacy, and aside from the secluded location, the 16 security cameras and state-of-the-art alarm system both help make that happen. Moving inside, the mansion spans 8,300 square feet of space with six beds and six baths throughout. Not to mention it's reportedly both a green home and a smart house. The estate encompasses nearly an acre of land, also boasting solar power. Chris's home not only has an oversized garage with parking for three cars, the sprawling motor court is able to fit 10 more. And being the car lover that he is, it's clear that this feature was a selling point for the singer. While the house may be somewhat simple looking from the outside, walking in, you're greeted with a dramatic double height foyer and spacious common rooms. There's a grand staircase leading to most of the bedrooms upstairs, while there are glass walls throughout the home for a sleek look. The glass walls also come in handy considering Chris's property boasts amazing panoramic views of the city lights and mountains, so you can soak in the surroundings from indoors or out. Chris's home has spacious living and dining rooms while luxury finishes include stone and hardwood flooring throughout. There are also mahogany wood doors and plenty of balconies off of the abode to enjoy the view. The gourmet kitchen offers a breakfast nook, stainless steel appliances, central island with bar style seating, and another laid back table to eat at. The living rooms and dens have a clean design with flat screen TVs, while one with a retractable glass wall has a built in fireplace and leads out to the patio. Some of the awesome features include a soundproof home theater that looks dark and cozy with the 120 inch screen and 14 recliners. Seats. There's a first floor bedroom suite while the upper level of Chris's house has five more bedrooms with en suites and also upstairs you will find an open concept office or family room. Of course, Chris's master suite is the nicest of them all, overlooking the entire valley through walls of glass. It has a luxury ensuite bath, fireplace, private balcony, and of course, walk-in closets. You already know those spacious closets are just ideal for his shoe collection. We can see that Chris has customized the home since moving in with personal touches, such as his beloved graffiti art. I don't know what's better at Chris's place, the interior or exterior, because the yard is also full of luxury amenities. The backyard offers a ton of space to entertain and lounge, including an outdoor living room with a full kitchen and three inviting fire pits. The saltwater swimming pool also has a center Baja shelf, spa, waterfall, and glass pebbles. Say what you want, but Chris is notorious for throwing wild parties, and over the years, many of his crazy gatherings have even made the news. That massive motor court and expansive entertainer's backyard must come in handy when Chris throws parties at this level, like the one back in May 2021, where he had a rumored 300 to 500 cars parked at the estate and nearby. While Chris clearly loves his current Tarzana mansion, he has some other pads before, as you might expect one of which was famed for the graffiti artwork he embellished the exterior with. And while Chris might have been proud of that artwork, his neighbors, they were quite the opposite. Back in 2014, Chris sold his former home in the Hollywood Hills for $1.69 million, graffiti and all. It was situated hard up on the street with barely any privacy compared to his current living situation. Property records showed the entertainer snagged the multi-level hillside residence in the foothills above Hollywood for $1.5 million dollars back in 2001. Considering this nearly 3,000 square foot home had over four stories, there was also an elevator to get around seamlessly. This home boasted three beds, three baths, 
soaring ceilings, and sunny interior spaces throughout. And of course, like any good modern home, there were also walls of glass to get the most of the city lights views. Decked out in concrete, glass, and steel, Chris's former abode was designed by architect Jay Vanos and customized to suit the then young star's taste. While the exterior graffiti was repainted before Chris listed the home, several interior walls in the home were decorated with cartoon-like characters. The high-tech house boasted ultra-modern furnishings, an LED lighting system, and top-of-the-line Italian kitchen. Not to mention there were bonuses like an art studio and a loft. The main living room here was attached to the kitchen and there were double-height ceilings with full walls of glass looking right into the hills, as well as a built-in marble fireplace and flat-screen TV. The open concept master suite on the top floor, well, that was definitely unique. It featured a red standalone tub and a glass shower in full view of the bed. Privacy here was definitely not an option, but at least the shower offered massage features. Chris's Hollywood pad also had some very cool outdoor living spaces, including a couple of fire pits, a projection screen for movie nights, and stone waterfalls. If that's not enough, the saltwater pool and spa were illuminated by colored LED D lights. Even before Chris's graffiti-clad mansion, he lived in a penthouse in West Hollywood, which he got rid of in 2012 after only a year living there. He sold it in an off-market deal for $1.6 million, the same price he purchased it at, reportedly because it wasn't a good place to party and neighbors were more reserved. During Chris's short time at the 3,000 square foot residence, neighbors also said he played loud music and raced dogs in the hallways. That's kind of strange, but what? Ever. The penthouse condo occupied the top floor of the building, offering three bedrooms and four baths throughout, along with bamboo floors and high ceilings. The large kitchen dining room combo allowed Chris to chat with guests while cooking, and the kitchen also had Caesar stone countertops and stainless appliances. The three bedrooms were spacious and had cream colored walls, each with their own ensuite. Elsewhere, there was an office, a bar, and another small bonus room. The condo opened out to a spacious terrace overlooking the streets of West Hollywood and city views. Chris was right in the heart of the trendy West Hollywood neighborhood when he lived here, and only a short jaunt from Sunset and Santa Monica Boulevard. While the penthouse was spacious and pretty luxurious, his homes to follow were definite upgrades. After taking a look at a few of Chris Brown's homes, that's gonna bring today's house tour to a close. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you had a spacious home or mansion, would you be throwing parties there whenever possible? Let me know in the comments below, or if you would rather enjoy the home in a little more of a relaxing environment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned because next we're gonna look at the homes of rapper Drake. Bye! In recent news, Toronto's favorite Drake is expanding his luxury real estate portfolio by many multi-millions, this time in Los Angeles. Located in the upscale Beverly Crest neighborhood, the rapper is purchasing the 20-acre mega mansion off of British musician Robbie Williams in an off-market deal for over $70 million. Of course, Drake spends most of his time at his custom Toronto estate, but now he'll have yet another stunning option. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Drake is best known for being a rapper and singer who is arguably Toronto's favorite son. The Canadian superstar has a net worth expected to exceed $180 million by the end of 2022, making him one of the world's wealthiest rappers. And that fortune, well, Drake also knows how to spend it. Word is that the OVO star has treated himself to a new mega mansion in the Beverly Crest area of LA and an off-market deal expected to close north of $70 million. It makes sense because the former owner of the estate, Robbie Williams, was first trying to sell the place for around $80 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this one about Drake's brand new mansion in LA. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Let's take a look at the place Drake is picking up. Well, for the last year, the rapper has been scouring the California real estate market for a new home, and this time, it seems he's found what he was looking for. 
Drake is snagging the Beverly Crest mansion of English singer-songwriter Robbie Williams in an off-market deal. And while details are slim, sources say the mansion should close for over $70 million, likely in the mid-70 million range. The massive price tag is due to the prized property's rare combination of size and scale, which is super special in the Beverly Hills Post Office neighborhood. Overlooking Los Angeles Beverly Hills Post Office is a neighborhood that values seclusion and an upscale suburban lifestyle. Residents of the area are the recipients of the world's most coveted zip code 90210, with gated sections including Benedict Canyon where Drake's new mansion is located, as well as Mulholland Estates and Coldwater Canyon. The affluent area boasts spectacular views of the ocean and the Santa Monica Mountains all around. Drake's new trophy estate boasts a whopping 20,000 square feet on more than 20 acres, not to mention there's no other home on the market in the 90210 zip code code with even close to that much land. Perched in Benedict Canyon, Drake's new mansion was built by LA architectural firm KAA Design Group and offers up a dramatic Tuscan style including pillars and stone along the ivy covered exteriors. Inside there are multiple formal living spaces including great rooms, family rooms and more, meanwhile the bedroom count is at 10. If that's not enough, there are mind blowing 22 bathrooms throughout while Robbie Williams said the mansion actually had 27 toilets in total. Other lavish amenities include an 11 car garage, elevator, wine cellar, a home gym and a games room. Outside on the grounds, Drake can enjoy a mosaic tiled pool, an outdoor kitchen, tennis court and orchard, the perfect property for entertaining. There are also terraces and balconies all over and in the past, Williams has shown the incredible outdoor area which boasts views across the city. Looks like Drake has found a winner. The sale is the rapper's first property in the neighborhood. For the last decade, he was also compiling a compound in Hidden Hills in the San Fernando Valley and of course his pride and joy his 50,000 square foot mega mansion in Toronto. If you watch this channel, then I'm almost certain you've seen Drake's mansion in Toronto, Ontario. The rapper purchased the land for his main mansion back in 2016 for $6.7 million, getting the home custom designed and constructed from the ground up, which took years. These days, Drake's home is also known as the Embassy and is worth an estimated $100 million. It's located on two acres of land in the upscale Bridal Path community in Toronto, not to mention he installed super high fences surrounding the compound for ultimate privacy. No expense was spared in crafting the Drake dream home. The abode is made of limestone, bronze, exotic woods and other top notch materials, clocking in at a whopping 50,000 square feet of space. The entryway is decked out in black and white marble with soaring ceilings and also on the main floor there's a two level hallway, a party area and a great room with 44 foot high ceilings and a fireplace. The kitchen boasts a clean white color palette with a large marble block island in the center as well as blue suede bar chairs to dine in and designer appliances, while the dining room is close by to easily flow from one room to the next. Drake's wave spot in the mansion is his 3,200 square foot master retreat that's located in its very own wing of the home. Here there's a large one ton bed and bedding and tapestries are all designer as you'd expect. Well, there's an extra 1,100 square feet of covered terraces here too. His spa style bathroom boasts a steam shower and hot tub, while the suite also encompasses two dressing rooms and a kitchenette. Other luxury rooms in Drake's palace include a cozy studio lounge, awards room, recording studio and a jersey hall full of basketball memorabilia on display. Elsewhere there's a home gym, a movie theater, a snack bar and an elevator. Being the basketball ambassador and fan that he is, Drake has an NBA regulation sized basketball court inside his home, custom designed with his OVO brand logo. Downstairs is one of my favorite rooms where the rapper hides his Olympic sized indoor swimming pool decked out in black granite, also boasting special lighting to set the mood seating around the pool and mirrored walls. Drake had to include two pools, building another one outside, which is also massive and perfect for the summer months. All right, now that we've gotten a taste of Drake's new Beverly Crest estate, what do you guys think? 
Has he secured a gem or overpaid? Well, either way, I cannot wait to see more of it. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Drake's homes down in that comment section. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.